I am here with Mr. Ronald Fenty, and obviously you guys know the name Fenty is a big deal. It's a big name. I actually, I might actually have some makeup that's Fenty. Yeah? Yes, I think I used a few things. Rihanna's dad, what an amazing, like, wow. Can you share a memory of an essential moment? or conversation you had with Rihanna that you believe had a significant impact on her path to fame? Well, let me explain first. I think Rihanna guided herself where she wanted to go. Um, she always was very good at debating, so I wanted her to do law. Law? Oh. Because uh, she was so good at debating, and I and. When everybody came over, she always said, I'm going to be entertaining. She would give me this look, you know, like, <laughs> regardless of what I say, that's what she wanted to do. She already knew. Yeah. Since she was a little. Oh, that is impressive. I want to know, like, how she was growing up. How was she? Was she a singer since she was a little? Oh, I remember seeing her at three years old on the, on the bed <clears throat> with a hairbrush as a microphone. Singing. And dancing and checking herself in the mirror to see if anything And I was like, get off the bed. And she just hop there right outside. It's amazing. Name your top three Rihanna favorite songs. Putting you to the test. <laughs> Stay. Stay, nice. Diamonds, of course. And there's so many. Yes. Yes. <laughs> uh, what are some of the biggest challenges you encountered while championing Rihanna's aspirations and what lessons did you both learn from them? Biggest challenges you encountered like while she was trying to come up and... Um, challenges? I don't see challenges. I see opportunities. Nice. She's... She was, she's such a strong person, and I'm assuming she, she took after you. How do you believe, like, all those values that you've instilled in her? How do you think, like, what was it that impacted her? C can you think of, like, something? Was there something you might have told her, maybe, that inspired her? Um, she was never shy. She was always open and... She would debate with anyone, talk to anyone. She would, she don't mind going on stage. And when she was uh, going to church, oh. she wanted to be a, she wanted to do solo. She didn't want to do choir. <laughs> she wanted, oh. So she was the one with the energy more than I was. That's awesome. The energy. And now let's talk about you. What do you do? I know you were doing uh, textile. You're doing textile business. What uh, what kind of is it? Fashion? Are you uh... yeah, fashion? Um, she picked up a lot uh, from Fuller and me, but uh, yeah, I had a garment factory. Did nice. a lot from lingerie to school uniforms, ladies suits. Uh, oh wow! In uh, Bar were. in Bar Barbados or yeah, Barbados. We worked for other companies too, right? Hank Tan. Uh, Lady Manhattan, there's a lot of different labels that we did. Oh, wow. Manufacturing and sent back to the U.S. Um, remember to have Miami Vice? Mm -hmm. I did those clothes for Miami oh, Vice. Oh, you did? Wow, that's awesome. And they would be in the store before the movie the episode come out, and they would be in the suit. So, so you dressed them? Wow, that is amazing. Do you still, are you... Every time, working no. okay so you're you're like she i'm done with so much work <laughs> enjoying your lovely wife <laughs> yeah. it's like a corporate takeover you know your yeah. kids take over please tell me that you made that dress for her no i wish ha. no <laughs> it didn't <laughs> and where can we find you are you on social media are you on um, instagram you probably won't find me on instagram so like ronald Fenty on instagram we will be following you, and we wish you all the best. We're so excited to, Thank see, you. to see you enjoy your retirement and your relaxing life. Thanks again.